Yeah, we're up now. Man, damn show. Gutsy. Gutsy. Kelani, baby. And we got a special guest, man. Boy, Hold on. Let me intro. Let me let me take the intro. With. I'm sorry. Because he's a rapper. <laughs> he's a father. Yes. He's a podcaster. Yes. He's a motivational speaker. He gets the people. If you're if you're in a rut, and you ain't got no way to make money, and you're feeling unmotivational or unmotivated, you call it honey. I uh, honey. You know what I'm saying? He's a CEO too. He's a CEO. Oh shit. Don't you go straight for anybody too? He's a ghostwriter too. <laughs> <laughs> We got <laughs> 100 watts in the building. Oh, shout out Gutsy, shout out Kalani. You don't have to come through to support the thing. Your boy 100 in the place. Toronto with that. Yeah, the man. The disturbers here, the villains here. I lie. I'm ready to get all these questions, all the smoke. Let's have fun with this shit. You, do, you, do you miss the rapping? I do. Especially now, like with the music, I everybody say so the music's dead. dead and so dead. It is dead city, guys. It Sorry, dead. it's it's dead. But to be honest with you, as much as I love the rap, like I think about it, I go through the one twos, but the entertainment is what the people need on a daily. So even if I do come back on the rap and shit, I'm gonna still keep up with the entertainment daily and like that will be something I drop every one, two months or something. Like that. Just to get the people's reaction and see, because they miss it. They need to hear that real shit. The bar Facts. is back. Auto tunes dead. <laughs> are, are you okay with the auto tune tunes too? Because like I you know, like some like... of them. I don't. I'm not, I like some of them, but like we need the bars back. We need to get back to the basics. Our man's are breaking it down because it's it's not that real rap, and we need that rap that's gonna get people back into their bag even more. That's making them even think about what their actions and stuff more. You know, mm. That well, Tupac Biggie era shit. So, in your opinion, what killed Toronto rap? What killed it, 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 like. <sighs> The, the underground scene, because that's like the scene is still somewhat doing good. There are certain people, you know, yeah. some of the females are doing good. Big up Charmaine. I see her doing big numbers, big things, Paris, everybody that's doing their thing. But it's like for the underground sound, we are, we've obviously seen it and we've been seeing it. It's been dying. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, can you pinpoint maybe a one, two things that it was just like, all right, this is the cause of it? Uh, I think one of my main things when I think about the underground scene in the city is that we started following the Chicago wave, but mm. a lot of the world started following the Chicago wave. Mm. So we can't even just wrong just our city for following that wave. You see what I'm saying? Mm. But when it started, the mu the music stopped turning into music, and it was just about up, 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 and killing somebody and da da da. Like where's those love on my tracks where you can whine in your girl's belly? Where's those <laughs> where's yeah. those tracks where you can? That, that real, even if it's just not a girl track, that real shit track makes you want to go outside and go fucking make some money today. Yeah. Go get your bag today. It's just, it's not music anymore. It's not even a lot of radio. It's just a lot of just anger. It's a lot mm. of hurt. It's a lot of pain. You killed my friend. I'm going to kill your friend. We're going to talk about killing your Forever. friend. Forever. But, but going, sorry to cut you. Going back to the gal thing. You name any one of your favorite rap artists. They have a gal tune. A hit tune at that. That's a gal tune. Mm -hmm. How come Toronto, like, and Toronto niggas fuck. Like, let's stop acting like you guys are not freaks or you guys are not. We hear the stories. Y'all niggas is dirt bags out here. Y'all niggas be doing all the crazy shit that I be oh, talking about. Shit. But it's like, when it comes to actually spitting that in a tune. They don't want to talk about it. That's why I like the way, even though I don't like the, the song itself, I like the way fucking Top 5 flipped it. Baby, come and smoke with the man them. them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I don't encourage uh, uh, the, the thing, but at least he's like trying to switch it up. He tried to. He did. My, 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 my only thing, even when I say about 5, I think he did, he needed more gal tracks on the album. The album was crazy. But he needs more variety for the gal them on. Yes. You see what I'm saying to you? But when it comes to that, that topic that you talk about, it's just... Everybody wants to play that hard image in the city right now. And nobody wants to play like they want to make that good radio music. And that's why Drizzy ex exceeded so much further because yep. he stuck to his wave and talking to the girl them. So everybody has to understand that it's not that raw, right? Like, a lot of things when they girl them too that gets me upset in the city is that they girl them want to talk about this street shit and machines and this, that, and licky, licky, and all that. And I don't believe you. You're not on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to 
sell the sex. Make the sex mm. feel. Be sexy. If you're sexy, be sexy. I don't want you rapping like a nigga when you look, you have the image. Why are you rapping like the man them for? We're on the man them show. Yeah. Don't be rapping like the man them. Facts. Let me get no, some right, sex appeal, they, ladies. Yeah, some sex appeal. They're not Remy Ma, because a lot of these girls are not Remy Ma. They wouldn't bust their machine and do nine years like Remy Ma. They're not on that. Nope. So be yourself. Be sexy. Be the little freak that you are behind closed doors. Don't put on this fake image, because a lot of you got to put on this fake image, let's see, for the world. Yes. And that's why we don't have a one Nicki Minaj or a Cardi B or a Ice Spice in Toronto. We don't have one. We don't even have a Foxy, Little Foxy, Kim. Foxy, Little Kim. We don't have not one. There's so much of you guys for years that we don't have not one of the girl that bust through the scenes. We have Jesse Reyes. Shout out Jesse. Shout out I Jesse. Went to, I went to, you know I went to elementary school with Jesse Reyes? Same After way. I moved from Olive and I moved to right to Beaton in grade eight, I went to school with Jesse Reyes and we were in the friggin' um, our yearbook. Which one? Which? It's so crazy that you said that. It's totally off topic. So a man sent me my yearbook, uh, yearbook pictures of me in it from like Elm Bank, fam. Because I used to go to Elm Bank. So, oh, bank. Okay. So, so, so is that yeah, yeah, real, real rest, nigga. But I'm uh, not saying you're not. But I'm just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, like it's just crazy. So hold on. What what school did you guys go to? No, I went to a school. That's when my pops passed away. All right, peace. I was like Legend. 11, 12, so I moved to Jungle. Not sorry, moved to Jungle. I moved to my mom moved us to B Town after my pops passed away. So I went to in grade eight. I went to the school called Mother Mary Ward. Jeez. It's close to like um, Aquinas and all them schools in Beaton. So me and Jesse Reyes both went to that elementary school. It was crazy in our yearbook. They both had both of us as most likely to become famous. I was the male one and she was the female one. That's crazy. You see what I think they got that on point. I see her going. I think they got that on point. And she went to Aquinas was a, a school of the arts school. Mm -hmm. Music school, da 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 da. So she went to that school. She see that she got off with it. But I say, like, I'm looking at myself now, man. Like, shit, I got, I got to match up the shit in the year. <laughs> <laughs> you got to turn up. You got to turn up now. You got to turn Jesse. up. But yeah, shout out Jesse Reyes. But we don't have that much female. Our Mishimi, Mishimi was the one. My dad and Mishimi, my, Mishimi was my pastor back in the days. Mishimi had that way with the job. She was probably like the last one. Hip hop era. Honestly, and that was like 80s, 90s. I want to say Melanie Fiona cut. She had like a buzz, okay, yeah, but not me. not like the same way as the others. We're yeah. gonna get into Mishi and, and some of the, the the circle members in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Really quick before we get into like some of the other topics, health wise, you good? Because I believe it was like last year sometime. You know, you had a little health scare, and you know, I was checking up on you because like regardless of anybody, like you know, that. I've been putting on weight. Did you see? I've been eating. <laughs> I was stressed out. So I've been putting on some weight. I've been eating. You know what I mean? Not to get too. In what, what, what was going on with you, but like, what did you have to cut down the most? Liquor, a lot? Not even the liquor. I know I just started picking up, but in the last month, I've probably been getting like, I'm not even a cap to you. I've probably been getting like at least one little Mickey buckle a day <laughs> in the last month. <laughs> a, 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 day? a day? Are you downing that in a day though? Day. No, throughout the day, I go and beat it. You know what I'm saying? But my more thing where I got skinny was more the smoking. Like, I'm one of those like I, I had to smoke before I eat. Yes, I'm the same way. It made me lose bare weight. Fam. Smoking before you go to sleep. Before I go to sleep. <laughs> I got C. You ever heard of CHS? Cannabis hypothesis syndrome. No. Okay, so that's what I, it's like. A, it's pretty much like a long term thing. I, I see Shade being posted the other day, but it's like a long term thing for like people that are smokers for like the last 10, 20, 15 years. Jesus Christ. So you'll be going in the hospital. So I used to have certain times of going to the hospital vomiting up my fucking stomach morning times. Just dark green bio, da, da, da. but that's because sometimes I didn't want the weed to control me no more. You know those ones? So, but I had those times where I was like, I loved smoking weed and I can't smoke without grabber. That's the next thing. Grabber like fucks me up. Yeah, grabber like, like fucks you up. Really quick, sorry. Fuck Shout out our, our, our sponsor, Shout Grab a Grab Queen. Sponsor. Grab a Queen. We love the Grab but like I, from when I started smoking Grab I couldn't stop smoking. Cause it's like, it's, it's, it's like you're smoking thin air without the Grab mm -hmm. I can't do it. But the Grab was fucking me up. You know there's wards in Yard for Grab wards where people go for that and they turn mud. Is it really? No, there's for wards Grabba? In, for Grabba, there's like a special hospital for a Grab and things like that in Yard. I didn't even know that. But the man are smoking too much Grab because it fucks you up. There's some niggas that don't even smoke grabber in a blunt. I mean, don't even smoke their blunts, um, what grabber they, they roll their fucking weed in a grabber leaf. Leaf, yeah, yeah the leaf. leaf. they be doing that? I saw that. That's crazy. I can't I saw, do that. When I was on my old no, network, they had that. I was like, yeah, that's whoa, crazy. That's I can't crazy. do that. He, he used to have the whole, the, the thing, and it would come with the leaf, and he would yeah. roll the thing in the leaf. I'm like, nah, sir. Yeah, that mud, that, 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 that,
Mm-mm. No. I'm not smoking it, but I, you know, when I realized when I went to the, I started going to the emergency room a lot of times, but the doctor was telling me, he's like, he's like, because, he's like, you don't realize, like, they legalize weed for a reason. There's not, just to get you guys sick. There's like, there's more of you young people that's in the hospital right now that's going through these same problems right now. Mm. And like, on top of that, you're going to the dispensaries and you're buying beer different grains. Okay, I'm going to get the Bubba Kush. I'm going to get the White House B- Joe Biden loud pack. Donald yeah. Trump pack. Yeah. Every day it's a different thing. Tom you don't know Ford. Why spraying this shit with fam. Pink you're not Kush. your own thing. Pink Tahoe. Pink, Kush, pink this. Pink green that. Green crack. You know about green crack? Yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. Green, the one of them. But it gets you sick. So I'm at that point in my life where it gets me sick. I lost weight about that. So now... I cut down on the weed like that. I probably smoke like a one split every two days if I do it. And when I do, I get high off a little bit. I can't even finish the one split. Yeah, because you're going to your intake, the tolerance. I don't, I can't. You see how my script's been sitting here for how long? A lot of weed smokers, but I've been smoking that long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Uh, yeah, talk to me. So, so take me back now, music wise. Mm-hmm. When did you decide to start rapping? So you had a lot of uh, influences around you. Yeah. Right. But when did you start? When did you like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this? I started doing it from I was probably about 18, 19. That's when I did my first track, um, Letter to Paul Watson. Mm. Not to my power. I said, R. Paul Watson, the jungle, it's them not to Brit salute. But I did that track. I was going to a program called Breaking the Cycle. Shout out Breaking the Fucking Cycle. Shout out Breaking the Cycle. Shout out Gary, Shaka, OG, Mikey. I love all y'all. They changed my life. They don't even know how many rappers have been through Breaking the Cycle. cycle. Breaking the Cycle. (laughs) Sure. My uncle was in that program. They changed my life, though, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Breaking the Cycle used to pay us about like three bills, three fifty every week. And we used to go to that program because it was so crazy because breaking the cycle when I was, it was right at four, Highway 40, 27 in Albion. Mm-hmm. But my dad's gravesite was right across the street. Oh, Every time shit. I'm done program, You're I'm going over dad, there. Like right by my dad's gravesite, fam. See what I'm saying? So what I'm going to, but a lot of us were mixing the program. I'm from Ali. Jungles, wherever. There's Ali, jungle niggas. Cow niggas inside yeah. there. Niggas from Finch. Niggas from the East. Everybody, we was like a bunch of hoods in Toronto mixed in one group. <laughs> you see what I'm saying to you? Every hood. Mm-hmm. And it was always different. This program ran for six, eight months, and the next program ran for six, eight months, but it was everybody's there. And then it used to be the spot, so certain niggas used to come and even smoke weed at the back of the program certain times and all that shit. But to be honest, when I, had, when I was in Breaking the Cycle, like my mom put me, my dad passed away when I was 11. She put me in a bunch of counseling and all that shit, but I couldn't relate to those people because they're white people that can't, that never been through half of what I've been through at my small age. Mm. They're like 40 years old. They never even experienced somebody in their family getting shot before. Yeah. So they didn't understand what I was going through. So when my mom was putting me through these little shits, so like, she's not getting it, I'm not going like, to, these guys are weak. When I went to break in the cycle, and I started seeing this, yo, there's so much niggas in this, like, about 20 niggas in my program between 10 girls, 10 niggas. And we all went through the same type of shit. I lost someone that was real. So that was what kind of made me like open up more to, you know what I'm saying? Speak more in the group mm. right now, do activities with the group. We used to go to certain colleges. I went to like George Brown, York University, did presentations. Did, and we would get paid for these presentations too. But it's like, we we're all going through that on a daily basis. But it's like, you know what I mean? Shout out Breaking the Cycle that changed my life. Breaking the Cycle was the one stepping stone that changed my life, to be honest with you. So. Before we get back to the music, do you think there, there needs to be more of those? Breaking the Cycle no, is just more... more. And they started cutting the funding for Breaking the Cycle. Yes, they and did. that's something I don't like. Because you see, when I make it, and I'm going to make it, and I'm going to do what I have to do, that's a program that I'm going to invest into because Breaking the Cycle changed my life. Nah, facts, facts. I was on house arrest going through Breaking the Cycle, da 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 like... It changed my life. So that's a program that, that, that the government cut the fundings out of that I was super putting into because I see a lot of these guys in Toronto that make it. I ain't gonna lie, like the Drizzies, a lot of you guys that like, make it after the next level, the weekends, I'm gonna call you guys out. But the man, we're not putting into these programs and stuff for the youth, them in the streets. But I, have to, I sometimes have to understand them because they weren't even from the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Fact. how am I gonna expect these guys to get back, back to, to the, the streets when they never even? Experience the shit. Yeah. I'm not mad at Jersey, I'm not mad at the weekend, all these yeah. guys, but it's like they weren't from it. So I'm from it. So I understand what changed my life. So what I gotta do to 
help other guys because there's a lot of the young boys that can we could change their lives on some of these programs put them in a bar put them in the studio such they can come out of the streets for that facts yeah you know what i mean especially but, if they see it early Mm -hmm. you gotta see it early so now <clears throat> the letter to your pops or the tune to your pops did you write that like during the breaking the cycle like was that like a yeah, project yeah. or something that you're yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah, do no it wasn't a project it was one day i was at breaking the cycle and i finished program and i was so mad i don't know what happened in my life something was going on but i just walked over to my dad's grave fam I was just mad. I was crying. I'll be real with you. I was just crying. I was just mad. I don't know what was wrong at that time, but I was just crying. And I walked there and I sat at his grave and I cried more at his grave, probably for like the next hour. And I just wrote the song while I was there in the middle of the rain. Mm. And that's how it came on. I just called the video man. I released the video. Boom, boom, boom. But that's how I made that song. Do you feel like people like your pops and other people should be presented more like i i ain't saying your pop I, I don't know but like i'm not saying your pops is like one of them big like alpo or one of them guys but like do you you see how the states them they have those documentaries and that would be obviously something i would assume you would be a part of like i know you're going to do a documentary at some point but do you feel like that it needs these stories need to be told with oh, your pops it has to and, be told 100% it has to be told why doesn't toronto talk about these stories though because Toronto doesn't have a platform enough to talk about this that people are even gonna care, and everybody starts getting nervous and they start thinking that shit's not gonna reach anywhere. I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's true, because you see so. that like these little documentary pages that the savages from the six child supports, which we're gonna get into in a bit. But that's the boy. They, you think that's the boy? That's the boy that's stirring up polys. That's not. You think so? That's not niggas going in the streets talking about polys because we're niggas and we're in the in the, in the thing. I'm not sitting there and talking about certain things. I'm not sitting there <coughs> and talking about certain things that happen. But the guys that are sitting down there on, in the States that are talking about these things, they're not a part of it either. Like Trapper Ross. I, like, I, I talked to Trapper Ross. I don't think he... I, I know he's not a boy, but I think they get infatuated by the culture. No, and they, they, get, they do. They get infatuated by the culture, but at the end of the day, they're on some police thing. <laughs> That's just the real thing. Because certain things that they're doing, they're reading from police reports. That's mm. what they put on the internet. Yeah. They're not running with the, everything they heard. They don't even know shit. A lot of these guys don't even know shit, guys, that's making these things. No, that's a police thing. But at the end of the day, the boy them know, even when the boy them come, they're not going to tell you, like, this is Toronto Police 23 Division. They're not going to tell you that. But they're going to come on a fake account and write some fucking fuckery underneath the shit to get everybody Amped going. Amped up. So they can start seeing, oh, okay, this is what it is. This, da, da, da. They need information. It's so easy to get it off the internet on YouTube. Mm. You don't even have to ask. You don't even have to bring it to the station for that shit. Alive. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I guess since we're on it, Child Support did one, a, a doc on Jay Noble. And you've seen that. Free Noble. You know, Free Nobs, of course. What, what would your take on that documentary? I hated it. Yeah? Why? I didn't like it. Because they keep trying to put Noble in this bad image, like Noble's is this, obviously the whole city and everybody else will test to take my bro, like he's this bad person. But a lot of people don't know that Noble's is a very good person, very loving, he's very kind. He goes hard for his family, he makes sure his family eats. And he's a funny dude. He's funny. There's a lot, a lot of people say to me something like, you sound like your brother, you and your brother sound like you're a little fun. But it's just my bro, I grew around him my whole life. You see what I'm saying to you? Shout out to Nobs' pop, but Nobs' pops was deported to Yan from like from Nobs was young. So my dad was around Nobs. My dad I was around enough of the times for Nobs was around me. He grew up from here at Pitney. Mm. And you see what I'm saying? My dad passed away, Nobs was right there. Nobs was at the club that day when when the man never thought that they seen my dad pulling away a man and whatever. All the fuck could have happened to my dad's situation. Nobs was there from he was like 16, 17 years old. You see what I'm saying? But it's one of those situations that like fuck like it happened it happened and it's like the family try to make the best out of it and how i kind of look at it as much as my bro situation it fucked him up with his music because i used to tell nobs the same shit like yo if he was gone to the states from a long time ago he would have blew mm. he was at 50 cent to the city i looked up to my bro the whole, a lot of the times throughout my life right now me and him are we don't crack to each other right now but i still love him that's my brother do you, you think, see what I'm saying to you? How, how do you think you can get to a point where you guys have a conversation? 
It's not like we don't. I send them messages and stuff like that, but it's just that me and we have a lot of differences and I'm still I'm still younger, bro, and I'm still my older brothers. So I still have that respect for him for certain shit. But it's like we have a lot of differences that involve that a lot of people started getting involved into. And there's sometimes you have to love people from a distance. Mm. And as much as I love them, I have to love them from a distance because it's bettering my life because I love them from a distance. Jeez. That's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of shit I was getting twined up into and da 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 And it's not like my bro's up, but it's just they're pre my bro on different things that it's not really him, but it's like, fuck. It's the reality of what it is right now. And at the end of the day, it's still my brother. There's a lot of beefs I fought inside the gym. Me and my bro are not even talking, but I'm banging out when you're good. Mm. Oh, you're my boys, bro? The thing. Facts. And no matter what, I'm always my boys, bro. Yep. <laughs> so, 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 always, even if I don't like her, I'm not even fucking talking to this guy. I didn't even call him in the last year. Mm-hmm. I'm going to punch you in your face for him. It's just not real. So I was like, fuck, bro. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, I still, my bro, does, he's innocent. He deserves to be home with his kids, his nephews and nieces, the whole family right now and winning. But a lot of the families problems right now like losing fucking pops losing puller losing not losing them but like gnomes being in jail getting 25 and he's gonna free up on his appeal but the weight of the family now fell on my shoulders so. mm. how did you I deal with that at first sure the legacy lives on how did i deal with that yeah i keep going <laughs> <laughs> but there's no pressure there's just like that nah. no, i don't really feel the pressure i real feel like it's them time there You've been the chosen one. <laughs> Bro might not like it because he likes to be the guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he likes to be the guy. Hey, man. But I'm the guy now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got to make it happen. You know what I mean? So even when he touches room, he frees up at his appeal, like, everything's good. We're good. We made it happen, right? right. I did what I had to do, right? Like, some, some of the moves I do, Bro don't like it because Bro's not... He's, he's very funny. Lobes is a very entertaining, yes. funny nigga. He's, he's like, if you were to see me and Lobes in a room, you'd be like, what the fuck is going on right now? Both of you guys are like the same You side. have to have a camera there. Yeah, have <laughs> you to. have to have a camera on me and him. <laughs> <laughs> Between the girl and my niggas, they all say that, but it's like, I'm just a little bit more brawling and will do more things for the culture because that's what, I grew up in this era too. Lobes is like, my bro's like four or five years older than me, fam. Mm. So it's like I grew up in this young 90s generation. I started the 90s wave, so. But there's certain things that I might do that my bro might not do and say, Flip, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Or don't, I don't give a fuck. I like, love <laughs> my old wave, man. I'm like, whatever. You'll hear about this in the morning. <laughs> I mean, that's what little siblings do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so going back to the, the child supports and the stuff like that. So you, you're saying pretty much that the man them have to start doing those kind of documentaries and reaching out to people and getting those stuff done? To be honest, if we're going to do it, we have to do it properly where it's our people, not even just if it's direct person, our people doing those type of things and telling the story. You know what I mean? Because it's like, these guys from the outside world telling those stories and shit like that, they don't really know what I'm going They're talking a bunch. Even in that documentary, they're bringing up certain stuff, right? And it's just like, I didn't like all certain stuff, how they did it. And it's a lot of stuff that's cap and a lot of stuff that they're hearing from the Biden and they're running with it. But it's like, that's their job. I can't even be sometimes mad at them as much as that. Like, that's their job to go with it, even if it's just a fuckery story. They're going to tell the fuckery story just to get the people them going. Entertainment purposes. I do the fuck salacious. Thing that the people I'm going to, so I'm not gonna get mad at them. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, fuck. Before we get to stuff that's going on now, um, do you feel like the police them kind of crack down? I don't want to say crack down, but do you feel like they they just did something to that era? Because like, if you think about it, like a lot of impactful artists went to jail. For a very long time, you talk about the Sam G's, you talk about the Jay Nobles. Like these are guys that were very impactful, and they all went away. Mm-hmm. And it's like, 
even coming back out, even when you come to K Money, and you know, like I, I, I spoke to Sam a, a few times because I've been asking him, you know, why, why can't you drop music? Why aren't you dropping music since you came back out? And it seems like the boy them could be telling these guys like, I'm not saying he saw me, but like, yo, like, from what what the conversation was, it just feels like the boy them might be holding him back a little bit. That's what it comes down to. And what? But but why? Like, he, like at the end of the day, it's music. Like you know, what? It's music, but we have to understand that this is not like how the states is, fam. Mm. And it's like our music scene doesn't promote us and the violence and shit like that. Like it promotes it in the states. America lives off of entertainment. Mm. They, need, they need a president like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. In fact, <laughs> they need the entertainment. That's what they live off of the entertainment. Canada scene is not really like that. They want to push this. Positive. Goody, 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 did it out. Everybody in the world come to Canada. We love you. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice we over here. Nice. We're peaceful. <laughs> We're peaceful. Yeah. I said the world Americans used they laugh at us like you gotta check in Toronto like what's going on over there? Fucking <laughs> yes, you do. You <laughs> yeah, do, but sorry, and things are warning. We will get the drop. You can get backdoored. Facts. So don't take us like like look how idiots. Even the drama situation, no matter, not even drama. He's not the first man that got his chain jammed from the states. And he won't be the last. And he won't be the last. You but you gotta check that. into the place. Don't take us like we're no eaters. There's bad boys all around the world. Yep. You can't take nowhere. I don't give a fuck if I'm going anywhere in the world. I'm not taking nobody so for you. You don't underestimate people, fam. Mm. And that's what they do. They underestimate. Canada is gonna check into Canada. Who the fuck checks into Canada? You better fucking do it. Oh, <laughs> Drake can get you. <laughs> Drake cannot help you though. Don't do. Don't get that don't twisted. Take, do not check in with Drizzy. You will not be okay. Your green card, Drizzy. What? Shout out Drizzy. Bro. Shout him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the streets wise. Y'all know what time it is. Who? Man. Who would be if you were taking yourself obviously out of it? If you were a rapper, both of you two, who would you guys assume is the check-in person? If I heard right away. If you're from like anywhere else in the, in world, the world and you're like, yo, I got to go to Toronto, but I, you know, I pass might want to check in with some of the hood man or whatever, but who should I go check in with? Who would be that person that you would mess with? I'm not going to lie to you on some real shit. If I'm looking from a space where someone else from around the world, I would check in the press. It would be Pressa. Who, who would you go with, Kalani? Why would you say Pressa? The reason why I would say Pressa is because Pressa made a worldwide scene for the streets. Mm, for Toronto. For Toronto in a different aspect. Okay. So it's like the Drizzies, the Navs, Lane, shout out Lane, the Wall of the Man, them, they weren't really like the streets wise in that, like who really blew from the streets wise. When I say the streets wise in that, Presta took the streets. You see what I'm saying? He got that wave, he da da da, he got Meek Mill on his wave, went on tour with Drizzy, da da da. Yeah. So he got the thing going and like that. On top of that, a lot of the youngins that surround him, between Houdini's RIP, the rest of the whole heap of them, Bunda, YG, this, this, and that, they have a super wave over there and a lot of artists is over there. So streets-wise, if you're looking like that, I would be like, well, who's that? Let me DM this young boy and see what I'm going over there so when I check in the place over there. That's the reason why I would say that's something wise like that, because he has the streets-wise like that. Yes, that's oh, close that to who I, I was thinking. Yeah. Huh? Who, who are you well, I want to hear Kalani first. Well, who do you think? Honestly, well, after that incident, I would say top five. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, say, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just curious as to why you said press because like he's he's known like when I because I, I go down there quite a bit, you know, he's known as just as you know Corley Ray's nigga type thing. So like. This, the industry wise, the states wise would say that, but I'm, like I'm just saying, you know what I'm no, saying? I you know what you. I mean? I hear so you. So it's sh- like, why would I check check in with him? You know no, I'm but I'm saying, saying as an American wise, looking from the outside yeah. in, like if you really knew what was going into the Toronto culture, yeah. but I you would that's really. That's what I'm saying. They don't. They, they don't, don't know. They don't. So it's like peeking outside of a window now because you don't know. Uh huh. Who would you? Okay, so peeking outside the window. Yeah, now, you I have don't to know. think about that. But majority like, of them is going to say Drake, Drake then. Yeah. They're going to all say Drake. Majority of them would I'm say Drake. I'm saying because I know the streets wise in Toronto. So that's why I'm really more saying They go off press. what they see and what they know. Me? They don't get it twisted. They know Toronto. Yeah. That's one thing I can say. Anytime I see him from Canada in the first place, 
the six. First place, Toronto. You know what I'm saying? Next, then it goes like Justin Bieber, Drake, whatever we got. Da da da. You know what I mean? But it's like to to check in now. You're gonna have to go. I would say top five. You're gonna have to go with the last incident, no? Yeah, I I would say it, it, before this incident because this is a conversation that we've had before. I would say Bundog. Because I think Bundog would be a well, person. I'm saying Bundog is the same thing we're saying press. Bundog, but yeah, yeah, but it, it would be the saying. same. It, it would be I, in the same. If you're going to talk, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Bundog, say Bundog first, first then, even before press. press. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm that, that, that's who I would go with first, is I'm Bundog. I'm press because is more worldwide. But more, then, yes. Yeah, press would Bundog, probably. But if I'm going to say the first person you should check it to, I'm going to say Bundog. Bundog, Bundog would be for me because <laughs> because how I'm looking at it, Bundog would be still the guy that would probably, I don't know, I don't know if Bundog has ops or problems with anybody. But he just seems like the person that even if he does, he would tell everybody in the city, hey, this guy's coming. Let's make some money. Yeah, I'm saying let's make sure everything's good. You know what I'm saying? This could be good for the city. Bundog's that guy. You know what I'm saying? He's he's the mastermind. Don't get it twisted. (laughs) Press is the face of the brand. Yes, yes. But yeah, I like how you're thinking because that's that's how I would be thinking. Like if I'm going, who's press good with? But well, but I would go with Bun. I would go with Bun too. I'm going to say Bun too. Yeah, I agree with you when it comes to that. So 100 percent. Like shout out about them doing their thing. Like. Just check it to Toronto. Don't take us for no EDS. Yeah. Don't take us for no baby boys. People are outside. It's not even just everyone and from the city is outside. Listen, anywhere you go... you get a drop on you, they're coming for you. <laughs> anywhere in the world you go, check the fuck in, check bro. In. Don't think just because... And, and this is not even for... This is for Americans. <laughs> yes, no, Ameri- no, no. Y'all are the ones that go around the world thinking, oh, okay, well, we get the most bodies. We get the most this and that and the third. So, fuck. Yeah. It's good. No, you guys go check in everywhere in the world because yes, you can get the drop on you anywhere, anywhere. bro. It don't matter who you are. And it's life, and that's just how it happens everywhere. There's bad boys all around the world. <sighs> you can't underestimate people. I see a youth that was like five three in the bin. Look at Chinu, five three. There's a big dog on the range. He's like six five, probably <laughs> six six. Go on and sick with you, man. You follow to the back of the ranger. And I remember what the chin you did. He did something. <laughs> I don't remember what he did. I think he beat him at a. I don't know what he did. But when my boy went to go do it, he went to go bang him out now. Yo, he's ready to punch him out. My boy just gave him a jump kick like this from the chin. <laughs> and bang, floored him on the floor <laughs> one time. <laughs> yo, I swear, that was one instance that made me go like, yo, don't underestimate Anyone, yeah, anybody, bro. <laughs> Why won't get, it doesn't matter how small you look at him, like, I've been working out the last two years, I'll beat this chin you up right now. Mm. My boy's like, watch this right now, I'll give you one kick. One kick and one ligament and, and you're done us. <laughs> done us, fooled us. Yeah. That is, you gotta underestimate book, people. Cover. cover, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, take me back, I want to say, like, a few years ago. 100 Watts is doing music and he just decides, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on with this music shit. I, I want to do this label stuff. What was the idea to get two female Toronto artists together? And how did that even idea get to come together for the former TNT ladies? Okay, that's a good question. So. Pretty much when I'm doing my music, obviously at the city turned, I was dropping the one, two diss records. I was doing this and that, entertaining the people. I got my bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I've been spending so much money the last couple of years on this music. It got me in even trouble. A lot of shit ended up in the streets, not even, even in my family, certain shit. Like certain times I'm even getting bail. My mom's pulling my bail because I dropped the video. Yeah? You dropped the music video? Are you bullshit yet? <laughs> so what you weren't supposed to? That was like a deal with the fam? Like you wouldn't drop videos? Nah, it wasn't even like I wouldn't drop. It wasn't like a deal with the fam. But the, obviously the boy didn't watch me. My mom seen that when we got raided and all this type of stuff like that. But then it was like, True. I'm still on the bullshit and I'm talking to fuckery. No mom wants to hear you talking. And all her friends are sending it to her. This, this and that. And it's making her look away. And she puts up her 50 bands fucking for her house. For my bail. Because I went inside and even told my mom I was in there for a couple months. Mm. She just found out, boom, 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 came and checked me. And then after a couple, 
about like eight, nine months, she came to come be with me. I was telling her, no. You know what I mean? Like, I'll figure, because I don't, didn't want to put her in no situations or nothing like that. But even when I did, after when I did, and she came and drawed for me, I dropped the video then after when I was out a couple months and I was on a hype. <laughs> <laughs> she put me in I went on the run for like eight, nine months. I was like, fuck this shit. I showed up the day of pre love. I court with the boy and ran, this motherfucker, he's been on the <laughs> run for the last, all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm not turning myself in right now, like fucking, crazy. all this shit's going right now, summertime in the city, no, 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 <laughs> but I, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, so as soon as it got cold, yeah, as soon as it got, but it's like, fuck, like, it's like, situations happen, I had to, and then, but it got me into certain, a lot of shit happened, like, my dad loved the music scene too, my dad was in the clubs, all the time he was out here, da, 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 he passed away. A lot of the speculations that happened, my pops passed away, was from him being in a club or driving in, driving into a club or some people seeing his whip and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. My bro got a puller died when my broski died when I was in jail. You know what I'm saying? Puller died at 25 or five boys. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? He puts a lot of weight on the family's shoulder. My bro, like, you know what I mean? My bro got 25. He's going to free up just now, though. But you know what I mean? It's still a lot of shit that just happened in the family tree that I got to make sure I take care of and just fuck. Keep it moving from there. But what was the main thing? To, I, I kind of lost track. <laughs> so the main thing, I guess the main thing was why did you decide to, to do a girl group? Oh, yeah, shit. See, and then I got how... so off track. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, like, yeah, how, how were you trying to do the girl group? And oh, then yeah, the question so after is... Like... I was like, so much shit was happening, and I'm like, I can't travel right now. I can't go to the States, and all I'm doing is spending this money on my videos right now, and I can't go nowhere with it. I just, the reality hit into me. Mm. It's like, if I'm gonna do this shit, I'm doing this shit to win. I'm not doing this shit to make the city see, oh, watch, just drop the video last week, cool. I don't give a fuck, like, I wanna win. Facts. I wanna get my bands back that I put into <laughs> that this you're shit. investing into this shit. Like, I need my money back. So when I'm realizing, okay, the drop it, da da da, the city's talking, it's not getting the outside exposure yet, like it's supposed to, it's not da da I'm like, fuck, like, I know I'm sick though, but it's like, what, I always have to diss somebody in a song to fucking to get, get attention? attention? I don't want to just diss everybody in a song, I know it's gonna get me attention, but I don't want to do it every time, I'm not that bad mind, I gotta pre everybody in the life every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, fuck it. What else can I do that's gonna get these guys going? Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm not. I went to my dad's grave with Killer one day. And so I was there with him, and I'm like, I think it was Killer. Yeah, it was. It was Killer's birthday those times. And I'm there, and I'm saying my prayer. Cause the only time I just go over to my pops' grave and shit, just to get my say my prayers, get them in. And even to start my, even if I'm just driving by the cemetery and shit. You know what I mean? So. I did it, I said it, and I'm just like, something came to say, the man was just talking to me like, you're not the face of the brand no more. Mm -hmm. Time's up. <laughs> go on easy. Yeah, I don't know what told me. It's like, go on easy, you're not the face of the brand. Mate, the girl them be the face of the brand. Just chill, you can't go nowhere, nowhere. You're just wasting your money right now. As much as you're getting in the wave, you can't go nowhere. You have to wait till you're trying everything free up yeah. and da da da. And even that's a process. Facts. You know what I mean? So I was like, all right, cool. Let me put the bag on the girl then. So I just helped. Because remember, they're not daily or killer. They're not thinking about them rapping. They're just used to being those models, the pretty girls, the uh, doing this. The like, videos. Video vixens. Like, yeah. They're not pre it like that. But I'm pre it like you guys are bigger than that. And at first, even originally when I went to it, I was even... I was, cause Killer's good at producing beats and shit like that. I didn't even know that. Yeah, Killer's like, she can, Killer's sick with the piano and shit like that too. Has she produced any of the tracks or no? No, she hasn't because she, has, she never got into that bag yet. Mm, but, but she knows she how to instrument and play around with instruments does, and shit like that. When she gets into that bag, she'll be a problem still. So. You see what I'm saying? So, so was, was the idea originally those two? Like, were they always first yeah, Taylee and Killer? And how did, how was the Taylee link? Because obviously, Killer's yeah, that's your, Killer. your girl. At that so. time, that's Killer's best friend at that time. Mm. Like, you don't see Killer without saying Tay Lee. Or Mati and Bench are always with each other. Sometimes I'm going to go check Killer. Those times I came out the bin, 
it was even going for me. I was fucking probably like 70, 80 bands down the drain while I was in the bin and everything. Like, bear yeah. shit came back on road, nothing all gone. Were you on the run those times too? No, I wasn't on the run those oh. times, but I'm OT. Sometimes I was OT like, in fucking Windsor those times for like a couple months out there. Because people That's don't even understand how much money you got to spend on the run too. Yeah, yeah on the run, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> those things are like I'm OT like that and I'm I'm talking to Killer those times. And then Frig, I just built it up. Killer had her own condo those times, whatever. I'm just there checking into this. I didn't even have my spot those times after mm. the last beer shift and I came out like everything much, but I had to build it back up again. I take like you take a loss to be a boss, right? Facts. Yeah. So I came but it's back. How you and bounce. I came it's how back it's all like, about how you bounce back. Yeah, it's how you bounce back. And I just came back even ten times stronger. You know what I mean? I just made sure I got things done. I made sure I took care of my shot. The killer was breeding a couple months after that. You see what I'm saying? I made sure I t she was good for the next couple of years. I just, she didn't have to super stress, like, you know what I mean? So, mm. fuck, I was just trying to make sure I built the brand. And between her and Tay Lee and all that shit, it was just personally after that was that, like, Tay Lee wanted to do that shit with her nigga. That's what it just came down to. And if I'm not fucking you and I'm not putting that, kill on you and it's like you're not my shot to those times when things are going like that that's okay. what she wanted to do yeah what can you do you can only like, do I can't so much. do anything and so i wasn't creating my artist like that to go do certain things like you know what i mean like mm -hmm. that with her like she's not an ugly girl you know that she's a pretty girl I'm not ever gonna hate you see what i'm saying but it was just one of those situations obviously i was doing doing so much for her and then the next thing obviously somebody's gonna see behind this but obviously, I'm there for the whole year, taking care of you, making sure everything's good. But then, obviously, when your thing starts kicking off, and as the times, like, I sent, sent them away to ATL. Mm -hmm. And they're in Little Baby's party. That's my calling at P. Shout out P, Little Baby, and them. And when I sent them away over there to that, when that situation happened where her man came and hollered at me after the fact, I didn't even know she had a nigga at those times. <laughs> Cause they leave those times I was my single artist. Killer was the one, but I still was telling Killer, promote it like you're single. Mm hmm yeah. That's how you, you, you still want to be desirable to the people. I want to post a picture of my girl, I'll post a picture of me. You, to your male fans, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a hater. It's in the bag. <laughs> Again, it's the brand. No, it's, it's the, the brand. brand. You yeah. got to be like a single artist out there. Go do your thing. That's what's going to get them more giddy. I was about to say, the possibility. Is yeah, the possibility is going to get more bigger. A lot of these guys are not going to, oh, you have a boyfriend. Yeah. You hate it. It's just the reality of it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying to you? So, but Taylor was more my single artist. I was making her like, you go get them out there. Those times their babies hollering at Taylor. I'm not gonna lie, like babies on Taylor those times. Yeah. <laughs> so hold on, even before that, so when you brought the idea to them, how was that? I'm pretty sure Killer, you know, she'll probably be more down. She, she, but was Taylor? How was Taylor? Because I'm pretty sure she loved that. Yeah, idea. she loved the idea. She loved the idea. Taylor loved the idea because she knew, like, obviously you're gonna get on the scene right now, different. Than Remember, I'm bringing them in the scene to, as a different light. Mm, when I see you're not TNT, like a... Like, yeah, like when I see them, they were like, I'm looking at them like, they're just these... I see them as the video, because so I get a twist, I see them in another one, two videos. Saw them, Griselda Blanco is when they really blew up more. Yes, yes. But then when I see, and I'm like, there's something sicker about these guys right here. Like, they're, they could be on a different type of level. The image that they have, you just have to turn them up a little bit more and put the bag behind them. And their image can be even sicker than what it was before. Mm. So that's how I kind of more looked at the situation. I wasn't like, I just wanted to see them blow. And even when Taylor sees she liked the idea, Killer liked the idea, and then we just rocked with it. A month or two months after I came up with the ideas, like in January, February, I shot the video for them. Figured it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. So. It was good while it lasted, but shit. <laughs> do, do they you fucked up. But, but or even before that, do you feel like, what's the potential? What do you think that their potential could have been? Honestly, if they would have stuck together, they would have probably been like the biggest shit right now. Because they were already such a wave in their first, not even like the whole first year. They had yeah, the stage, they were playing it. on Power 105, Pop Breakfast Club, this that I had the DJs in New York, DJ Superstar Jay, shout out Jay. 
The rest of them, A Boogie's DJ, DJ Omanaya, a whole bunch of different DJs running these guys because even when P came to me and he hollered at us about the um about CNC and well, what does it stand for and all that stuff. Obviously at those levels P knows because City Girls was the only girl group that's popping back then. Yeah. As much as they're good girl rappers individually and all that shit, yeah. you stand out more as a group. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying to you? It's true. It's just it's, it's just the reality of it. You stand out more as a group. Yeah. You do. And you see what I'm saying to you? So they had the potential, and that's why people were preening from so early because they were bad in the city girls. They both look better than fucking JT and Young Miami. They both had the potential to rap better than both of them. They, they did. Come them. on, it's not like JT and Miami. I mean, JT, yes. Yeah, JT Miami. And Miami. Miami's a bad Amazing girl. to like, look at. Look at <laughs> Amazing I, to look I, at. I, click like, like, I won't scroll babe. past and not click like Young yeah, Miami. Facts. Say, you know, I need Karisha on six talk. We she did. Talk she about she that. did. <laughs> she could have switched up. But, but yeah. yeah. Took a solo at the end of the day, TNT would have outshined the city girls in a different aspect. And that's why my boy was hollering. He knew what time it was. Mm. <laughs> I, I think it would have even been dope to, to make them beef. Huh? I would... I, I thought that would have been dope to make them beef. But they did beef. No, I'm saying like TNT getting at the, the city girls. That would have been amazing. That's what I'm saying. That, that, that would have been, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like you, you see amazing. these Toronto girls and they're barred up and they're giving you better oh music and they're coming and consistently, they the looks. The looks. The image, this, this, that. They would have... That would have been, that would have been it fun. Been Florida, a Florida it versus fucking Toronto. Come on, what? it would have been a thing. They that would have been, yeah, that would have been. That's the problem with Kill and You guys don't listen. You guys are talented. You have the potential. I'm the first to see you guys. Both of you guys have potential, but you guys don't listen. So you're seeing more it's just Taylee just found out or Taylee had a man and she just decided her and her man just decided okay, we're not doing this. It wasn't like anything in your opinion that there's nothing that you did. Yeah, I did something wrong. What do you feel like you did wrong? Uh -oh. I came at Taylee a little bit harsh and not right away but when she was just putting me in a position to just holler at her man for certain things and not holler at her she left me no choice but to pull him up on certain stuff mm -hmm. and just be real with him you see what i'm saying to you so it's like at the end of the day i didn't know about you till the last fucking month of the year of them being around each other so it wasn't a situation like to be honest with you like it was a situation as like obviously I, I planned a, a party for Killa throughout her from her birthday times and I don't even know so fuck you're gonna drive me out. Mm -hmm. I planned a party for Killa. Me and Taylor's talking about it, planning it for Killa. Killa's planning with her, doing her hair. She's planning to do her hair with her, all this shit. And then like a day before, I'm doing this for Killa. This they just come back from Atlanta. Taylor goes and she's like she can't show up to the party. Mm -mm. She can't do it up. I'm like, okay, let's improvise this right away first. Even if you can't show up, why you can't you show up? I'm going on vacation with my man. Mm -mm. Who's this guy? What do you mean? When, which, like, the guy that you just told me about and since you just came back from Atlanta? In the last year I've been here? I'm the first nigga that busts on your neck. I'm the first nigga that did all these stuff. It's <laughs> hot. I put you on the map. Niggas, Niggas are not, not going to be watching it like that unless I put you on the map. And then now he's in your ear after a year later. Yeah. He wasn't in your ear the first year from the ground up. It was me. Mm. I had the vision. I had the idea. I put the bag up. Your nigga f came about this after Little Baby's party. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now he's, start, now he's starting to see the vision. But he's fucking you. I'm not fucking you. What do you think is gonna fucking happen, Gutsy? Yeah, the girl, the yeah, girl's gonna. Come on. Usually the girl, will, you know. You start switching and even switching on killer and goes to killer like, listen, like maybe what if you make my man do this with me and you and cut out what's out of this and yeah, and that's what killer got her. It's like, what the fuck you mean talking about just? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's a this thing after. What are you talking about? Yeah. They ain't gonna never believe in you from the get go. <laughs> Until I put the bag behind you. You see what I'm saying? So obviously when I pulled her up on that situation, she couldn't show up to Killer's party the day before. I'm like, okay, let's improvise. Even if you want to go on a trip with your nigga a day, 
after the situation or the same day, but just show up, take some pictures, okay. smile for the camera, yeah. gang gang, <laughs> TNT, we just came out from the little <laughs> gang, <laughs> gang gang, and then go about your business. Yeah. Don't mean you're not gonna show up completely. You're gonna get me bent. I've been putting up too much in my bag. Mm -hmm. But this moves this guy. It's not, not even that, but like, but anything, but it's, like, it's not your girl. That no, 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 because, sorry. It's the image, though. And I, 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 I got triggered because I know the feeling of just putting your money into something and then, like, somebody else just, like, oh, taking right. it and it's just, like, fat. Like, it's a joke. Now, again, I'm, I'm, I don't know. This is Watts' <laughs> story, but it triggered me a little bit. Okay? So I'm sorry. I'm just being real. And, and it's not like, like I didn't, didn't meet Taylor's man after, because after when he came from Auntie, went to holler at me, he's like, okay, come sit down with me. We'll talk to uh, whatever. Yeah, you guys have But then, as yeah, we, we talked, it's not even an actual or anything we talked about. And obviously, I look at these those times she wanted a 10% into my thing. Mm. I'm looking at it like, bro, there's bands that grew up around me my whole life and not even given up 5% to. <laughs> Who am I going to give you a 10% of what to anything that I built just because you see me getting these girls popping up? And it's your shot, you know. I was considering it, I thought about it. But, but I'm like, like why am I doing it? I'm putting you under a contract or anything like that then too. And, and if you don't take it seriously, okay. Now, if you want a percentage into my label now what I have going over here, and you don't think it's serious for her to show up to her best friend's birthday party, the fuck am I giving you a percentage in anything for? You're not taking this shit serious then. You're in your feelings. You're in your emotions. You're not taking it serious. And this is that real. So, so that's, that's a sign right there that shows me like I can't, can't push you into my thing like that anyways too. And, if, mm. and it broke from there. It went from there and then they started going back, back and forth. She started saying shit. shit. Killer started saying shit. shit. And then so then they killer got in her bullshit and then she got fuck. When this dropped, where were you? Who sent you this? Do you remember this? I'm not gonna lie, this is top 10 lips track in fucking Toronto history. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie, the diss track was hard, man. It was kinda, it was kinda hard still. This, be... this part was, I didn't like, I didn't like, I didn't like the part where she was getting at you, and I still feel like you should respond. How could I respond to a girl? Like, I, I, still, I don't care, care man. man, I was like, damn. Do you see like, what I do to niggas? niggas? Imagine what I would do to her. Oh, like, I can't, can't do that. that. I'm, I'm going to let her beat her gums. gums. Like, beat your gums. gums. Say what you have to say. Like, you're a female at the end of the day. Like, and I brought you into this. How am I going to get out my, my protege? The person that I brought into this. I'm the first person that brought you into a booth and made you record. I'm the first person that wrote lyrics for you. You learned this shit. Between her and Killer, they learned this shit. Then remind her in the diss track. Yeah. Sorry, right? <laughs> no, no, but then, then, then I, 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 I can't like, like I, it's, it's just one of those like you have to like say something so crazy to draw me out. And I don't think these guys can say anything crazy to draw me out when I brought them into this shit. Like they can't. I you were talking about your pops and shit, fam. I understand that. I understand that. But she's a female. As much as even when I mean when me and five and five was talking about my pop, five didn't respond to me on a record, but five still. Talk to shit on the internet and stuff for that. Me and Fred Squash was talking, but I understand. There's certain things I understand. My mom told me this from growing up in life. That there's one thing that people are always gonna use against you to try to draw you out is your pops. Mm. There's nothing else they can say to you. Jeez. <laughs> so I, they're going to go there. That's because that's, that's the only. That's gonna be your spot. That's gonna dry you. And if you don't know how to control that, you're gonna get yourself into lots of problems in life. So okay. So when that song dropped, were you a little bit like? Not saying in your feelings, kind of in your feelings, but like just like, damn, fam, like I did all this and this is what you like. This is how you Who repay me. That record? Yeah, really like, damn, this is how you repay me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those like, obviously it was one of those where I looked at it like, you little ungrateful piece of fucking shit. <laughs> it was me who brought you into this shit like this, but it's like at the end of the day, like I get the game, mm. and you know one. One of my um, one of my dog's pops said he's a big producer in the game, and you see what I'm saying all over the stage. He produced for a lot of big artists. And he told me, and he's like, he's like artists, 
are the biggest scumbags in the world. <laughs> One day you'll realize that. I didn't understand what the man said that to me. He said that to me like probably like four or five years ago, you know, God's sake. But you see, when I started realizing as much when I started putting my bag on artists, between like four or five different artists in China, I realized exactly what it's saying. People get ahead of themselves. People take shit to their head. They forget the roots of this shit. They forget who really believed in them to even give them this attention and shit like that. And they try to run this. So it's like, it's just one of those lessons I had to learn. And you kept learning on that as 100 Visions started yeah. after that. Well, I, I think uh, that was 100 Visions, right? Yeah, that was a part of Visions. Yeah, that, no, no, that, that was a part of 100 Visions. But like then you started expanding it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Killer became a solo artist. You got uh, A-Man. Mm. Um, by, by the way, I'm not even going to lie. Re- re- regardless of whatever happened, you know what I'm saying? That record was fucking fire. With okay. Devil's Juice? <sighs> that's that's how you know a record is fire when it came out how many years ago and you still remember you know what i'm saying you yeah, yeah. had you saw like michael jackson on the track man. i wouldn't say that but <laughs> no but he did i he, think he sounded like michael jackson i'm not even going cap like he just he was saucy on that one why i think i don't i i, I want to say everybody dropped the ball i don't know but i just feel like you guys had so because he was like I don't know his background, but he looked Indian-ish. You know what I'm saying? The Indian, Arab. A- Arab. Like, they started blowing up more at that time. Everybody. Yeah. I just thought that and the tune. Like, the music was good. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to lie. I was bumping that tune. Like, I had that song on my playlist. So I was yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. damn, bro. Where do you think of everything? <sighs> do you think, in your personal opinion, it's just you too much? Do you feel like you're just... You're too passionate about shit, and maybe like people don't understand that. I think that that is one of the reasons I am very passionate about what I do, and I love the craft so much. And I feel like when I'm trying to teach my artists is a whole bunch of different things, and they're not listening and not understanding because it's different for people when they're not putting it in all and on themselves. When, when people, people are getting a handle, they treat it differently than it's them grinding and putting it on themselves. Mm. You see what I'm saying to you? And it's, it's like certain things I shouldn't even have to talk to you guys about and be repetitive about. And it kind of disrupts the business because I'm going to be obviously, I'm working hard to make sure that this dream gets accomplished. If you're not working hard and you're taking this shit for a joke and you're da 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 and you want to go, okay, you can go with your friends. Go with your friends, promote, do this stuff. like, But promote yourself. If you're not doing these TikToks, you're not entertaining your fans, you're not going on live, you're not making no tweets, you're not da 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 You can't just sit there and just depend on me. You're not going outside and handing out T-shirts, giving some mixtapes like back in the days, like, Doing anything to get people engaged into your audience. Because I used you, to call that Diddy promotion. Yeah. You Every have to, time you saw P. Diddy, he was promoting. Come on, promoting. You got to be promoting something. Lying? Every time you saw that Fact. man on TV, he was promoting his his look at this tape, whatever. Mm-hmm. He had a real hustler's mentality. Yeah. Do you, you think that has to go with the infrastructure? Because I talk about it all the time. I don't feel like there's an infrastructure in the city. So when people come, when artists come out. It could be from any genre. They put out music and they just feel like they're supposed to blow within a year. And it's just like, where's the infrastructure? Where's the the artist development? You know what I'm saying? We we don't have that anymore. Or well, I feel like we don't have that period in Toronto. Do you feel like there is some sort of infrastructure in the city? There's some, but there's not really that much. Like you know what I mean? Like there's not a lot of even different programs for the youth. Them or this, this and that. Everybody's just going off of their just own wave and their own block and. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations where it's like you just have to just do your own thing in the city and nobody's giving no free handouts. Jersey's not giving no free handouts. Facts. <laughs> Weekend's not giving no free handouts. Gangs ain't giving no free handouts. Like, they ain't yeah, got to give out anything right now. Yeah, yeah but mm-hmm. free has to put in the work. You see what I'm saying? So you have to put in that work. So it's like, 
you can't, can't expect, expect and, and you can't, can't really expect, expect anything from anybody like that too. You gotta just put it in your own work. Mm -hmm. Like me, I'm on a different wave. Like I'll entertain the people, I'll do this, this, that, I'll start my podcast. Fuck the label shit, it's not, it's not working out over there. I'm gonna start something new over here. I'm going to figure out what it is. I'm going to keep trying to hear different doors. I tried as an artist, it wasn't working. I tried as a fucking trying to be a label, it was fucking working. I tried fucking did it. Fuck, okay, this is at least working right now. So maybe this is the thing I have to go do right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, something got hit. Yeah, something got to open. The door got to open somewhere or another. You know what I mean? <laughs> Girl, are you and Killer on talking terms? We spoke recently for our child. Other than your child, are you guys on talking terms? Nope. We're offs. Other than that, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, nothing. We're like fucking two fucking bowls of rocks. I don't know. Just, like oil and water or some shit? I don't know. We're just, God, just not mixing just, right now? I'm not a guy like that. Kill this guy. I'm not a guy. Like that. So a killer able to drop music? Killer can do whatever she wants to do. I told Killer, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I so said we're going back and forth even about her contract situation. Like, killer knows she has it under her contract. Killer knows that what we have with the lawyer and all that stuff. But I'm on a wave that looks like it's still the mother of my child. She's not like anybody in the world. Or I'm not freeing her bag. Like, God forbid this shit doesn't just work and Killer doesn't. I still have faith in her, but I'm not going to be sitting there like, I'm going to bring my baby mom to court to try to get some money back. I'll take my health for what it is, but you can't say I didn't make sure I took care of shit as a man, CEO, yeah. manager, baby father. Yeah. It's one of those ones that's like, you know what I did, and the world knows what I did. So, even if so be the case and she wants to drop music and do whatever you think you want to do, do what you want to do, because if you do go and you do blow it, regardless of what it is, it benefits my child. I ain't mad at that. Real nigga shit. The only thing I'm mad at in this whole situation, killer, please, fam. You should be dropping. You should be coming out doing interviews. I know you don't want to be mixed up, but God damn, take advantage of this shit, bro. I'm like, God, if you ain't going to be an artist, Fuck, bro, you that's, got you got be everybody want to talk to you right now. I try to tell her. That's the only thing I try to tell. Don't get it. It's the only kid that's on some impersonal shit on the internet. After the while, but I've been trying to talk a lot of Mark. Let me talk about this new shit. The Mark in the business, but she's young. So remember, I'm 33 this year. Let's say I'm 33 in October. Libra baby. She looks seven years younger than me. So our mind stays sometimes as much as. She is mature for age in certain aspects of her life. Our mindsets are out of two different waves. Um, yeah, I, I don't even think it's her mindset with that. I just think that, and it's not to down her. I think it's everybody in the industry. I just think they don't understand that part of it. Uh -huh. Like a lot of, like, if any female has some sort of, unless you're like Cardi B or Nicki or the big ones, if you have some sort of something that's going in, you drop music, you, you know, you do interviews, you, you get out there, bro. You, 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 you got to do what you got to do. Like, that's don't don't wait till the shit dies down and then people don't really care to just start so doing, doing shit because that. that's... You got to be on it. Yeah. That's things that I've been trying to teach you, killer. You got to be on this shit. You see what I'm saying? To the end of the day, God, see, I'm not with none of my baby mother. But well, you see the foundation, my dad passed away. It was a lot of shit was in people's names. This, this, and that. This girl ran off and a lot of his mills. This beer fucked up shit happened. That his kids, they weren't left with anything. So you see one thing, God forbid anything happens to me, fam. I want to make sure, even when I'm not with none of my baby mothers, that that foundation is built and my kids are good forever. So my daughters never have to think about, oh, I'm going to be in, do this or strip or do this, this to go do this. My son doesn't have to think of, I'm going to be a dope boy. I'm going to do, uh, you have to know, because things is already built. Yes, the absolutely. foundation. Those are good. Mm. Yeah, females are good? All right, good. Don't say nothing to me. That I can get my kid when I want to get my kid. Bye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thing, man. so that's, that's just how I look at the whole situation of this. So no matter what, I still want to kill the and do what she got to do. But that's the same thing I'm trying to teach her. 
You gotta maybe you gotta be able to when the marketing is there, you gotta be on the scene, you gotta be doing shit, you gotta be on this shit. Fam, even if you go to Monday show, do something like go 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 to Monday twenty two, like you know what I'm saying? They bring this guy up, just no comment. So, all right, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to work the audience killer. You gotta know how to get the people them going. The simple shit I just want, been trying to teach you from a long time ago. So you market yourself, but you're learning due time. Everybody has their time. Yeah, you still got a new artist in the game. She blew up very quick. Facts. Daily blew up very quick. But there's still new artists in the game they're learning from. So, fuck, this is what it is. Well, something yeah. that you're new to and you're learning. Mm-hmm. Six Talk Podcast. Six Talk. That we are top mode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know why you have to come into my bag. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm already having a hard time as it is. But yeah, I mean, I'm not. But but how how is it, man? Podcasting? What, 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 what's the what's the good and bad about it so I like far? It. It's so having fun. The only thing that I felt that I had bad is before is that. My audio guy, engineer guy, was a bit shaky. <laughs> he was super shaky. But I gave him my two chances. And after the two chances, I can't because you're making my team look away. I used to spend almost 10 bands even more on video shoots. So if I have to spend not even half of this type of bag on a fucking, not even a fucking 2% on the fucking bag, basically on video shoots on a fucking podcast, this shit got to be A1. You know yeah, no, I hear you, fam. Why do you think I'm, I'm dealing with you? Well, yeah, I'm saying something. <laughs> Sometimes you got to learn yourself, you know what I'm saying? Shit happens. As long as I'm going, I've been through my first, second episode, I'm learning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I had a female host before. She fucked up. Oh. So I have to get rid of her. Oh, after? Yeah, the first episode. After the first episode, the bad. Well, well, so you're fired. You're fired. Donald Trump's done. If you show up to your first episode of a podcast and you're an hour late if you show up to anywhere you're an hour late you're fired anywhere you can go to home depot walmart target anywhere the fucking fire. on your so first day yeah she did that whatever i tried to talk with her throughout that stuff whatever yeah and then i'm still trying to teach her about certain stuff about marketing okay even after the stuff dropping about the new first episode, let me see how you market yourself let me see yeah. how you promote yourself yeah. let me see how you talk to the people da, da, da. yeah not doing all that stuff i'm telling you for the last couple of days you're not doing these type of stuff so that shows me you're not serious you're not on it mm. oh but i did this podcasting for two years and i did it okay, okay so what do you have to show for what you did nothing so I'm gonna be real true. I'm gonna tell you the real deal, so and stuff. You understand? But then I just saw a fucking. It's like God just went bing to my head and said, like, "Hold on." So I was supposed to bring my baby moms on that second episode of me who I was supposed to interview. Hmm. Something just told me, like, "Hold on." I'm just gonna make my my second baby mom. I'm just gonna make her my new fucking host. Hmm. She has a personality like me. Okay. It's like God just bossed me in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. That's how it just happened. I was like, hold on. She fucked up like that, but I'm like, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And then the outcome of it was just even better than it should have. You see what I'm saying to you? And a lot of people are saying, like, my God, the poor first post that you had, your, the energy doesn't match like that. Yeah. So when they see you two, you and your baby mom's going together, they're like, you guys, your energy match. You guys know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, you guys already have chemistry, so. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that chemistry together. So that's why I'm just like, fuck it, let's do this. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. She, she fucked up for a reason. Mm-hmm. God already had this whole plan about this whole thing. It wasn't in my control. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you have something with bringing people that you've had somewhat problems with? <laughs> like, how you have Snoopy. Your your baby moms. Do you think that could top be something five. top five? You, could be, you know what I'm saying? Ha, a hoodlum when he comes out. I'm a peacemaker. Dre bars. <laughs> like you can have a few people yeah. that you've had similar, in, you know, interactions with, and yeah, it yeah. could be like, hey, why not make a thing out of it? Because yeah, just like you said, you're a peacemaker. You're because entertaining. They all love me. <laughs> one of them that girl mad at me. They love you. Go even go. You want to add Goldie to the list? Oh my! <laughs> Goldie <laughs> and Joe. Oh, Lee! That would be an episode. They love me. You have to have security at that oh, episode. Bring the one of them. Grab the whole couch filled up like two couches. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would want to co host that. I would mediate that. I would mediate that. I was there for the whole of them. So I don't give a fuck. They can be mad at me as they want. You know what time it is. You know what I'm on. When's the last time you talked to Goldie? I didn't speak to Goldie in years. Shout out Goldie, though. Like, fuck, like. I'm mad at you. You know the only reason why we have our differences, but. <laughs> shit. Shout out Goldie. That's my baby mama's sister. That's my daughter's auntie. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be mad at Goldie fam. That's my daughter's auntie. Life, man. Her mom and her mom say mom say that. What needs to do the, the, the how we have BMF? This is why I'm telling you, like, we need more than like our BMF. Your story would be fun, fab. Like, just doing a little, you know, a, a watch yeah, documentary it. series. Yeah, do it. Who would play you? Who, who would you get to play you? Yeah. A young, a young watch. Play me? Yeah, a young and old watch. Who would you get to play you? And who would you think would play your pops in a, in a docu-series? Oh, that would be a sick question. Well, you know, my mom used to tell my mom used to tell me that Nelly reminded her a lot of my pops. Yeah, eh? Mm -hmm. My mom used to say that to me. Why did he have the the patch thing? Uh, back Not in even the patch thing, but she just look a light skin. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah you know what I mean? Like, like they just had to get out there, like. See what I'm saying? So my mom used to tell me. So if I was gonna do something like something so sick, I would get Nelly to even try to even play my pops in that role. Like for myself. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know who I get to play myself. Okay, I don't think nobody can play myself but myself. I think Morris Chestnut would play me proper. Maybe the young Morris Chestnut. Morris Chestnut old fuck now. Morris like Chestnut. a young Morris Chestnut would play me proper. Donkey <laughs> <laughs> And the gal would like that. You know what I'm saying? Off for the like gal there. <laughs> Do you, do you have any any special guests you know behind the scenes that's that, that's popping up that you could you know yeah, give us a one two? You? What's next for you? Anything anything? It's a six on talk podcast, you know, like yeah. that's what I'm really on right now. Having some, a bunch of surprise different. I can't give you guys this. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta watch and see. Yeah, like, you guys gonna like you're gonna see. I have a lot of different people. I have some partnerships going on behind the scenes too, trying to. Get other bigger brands behind the thing, cause you know what I mean. So, they see I'm trying to be the mom. That's why I'm on my social media and shit. Like, and I'm just doing anything to entertain him on a daily basis. Mm. I stay consistent with me. I don't give a fuck. My bag has to come back to me somewhere or another. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> so, safety, so that's why I just stay on them, stay entertaining the people. Just my daily lifestyle shit that goes on, da, 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 da. like fuck, like it is. It is a lot of people that's all trying to even tell my baby from before. Like as much as me and you are a public figure for years, when people see, people love the fuck you when they see you guys not together. Man. You're mad at me, I'm mad at you. You go on live, I go on live. Like fuck. <laughs> yeah. But that's what they fucking love. But I'm not telling like, okay, this is where we're gonna stand, da, 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 because. Certain shit obviously gets personal and stuff like that. She's a woman, she's gonna get into her feelings. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't want to say because I'm used to this shit. Mm. I put her into this shit. She's not used to this shit. As much as she did, I've been doing it on She's like, not like how I am. Me, I don't give a fuck. Facts. I make them beat their gums all day. <laughs> a woman is gonna feel a different type of way about certain situations. Yeah, I mean. What you, man? Um, oh, fuck. If it's, I'm the bad guy. They always call me as the bad guy. So don't nobody just be like, you play the bad guy role. Who else? They're going to call me the bad guy anyways, even no matter what I do. So fuck, man. So. I'm not going to lie. Single watch is ton up still. <laughs> <laughs> Single watch is ton up on, on the live. Ones. You have a question for what? No. Uh, well, I wanted to bring up. It's been going around. Uh, hold uh, not hold your head, but you know, um, get better, get well soon, keep six solid. What? Uh, keep six. Shout out, keep six. Well, what, what's your whole take on this whole situation? Like Toronto niggas can never appreciate anything good, man. Keep six, shout out, keep six, man. Get well, that's my guy. Keep six has been there for the city. Keep six has been putting on. He tries to get everybody into it. Doesn't try to be biased about the thing. As, as much as some of us want to be like, uh, after the, the bloggers are the bloggers, 
when you guys watch DJ Academics, all these other guys, blah, blah, blah. The bloggers are the bloggers. All of them. The oh, fuck, like, I don't know. That was a crazy situation right there, so. Can't really super talk about it like that. Keep going to detail. I don't know exactly what happened. But Do you think that he, he's going to, like, when he gets better, that he should continue doing solid 16s? Because allegedly he was doing... Yes, not a legend. Yeah, he was doing, he was a, doing solid a solid sixteen. Solid 16. Do you think that he should keep it like? Oh, or is it even like? Is it if, in your opinion like? Like I'm not again. Knock on wood. I wouldn't want any of this to happen to anybody. But like, you get into a p- position where you know you have a lot of sauce. You have a lot of power in the city somewhere. I feel like Keep Six has a lot of power. You're giving that back by have, giving these kids or just anybody these artists opportunities to do something like that. Something like this happens to you now. Do you come back and say, okay, I'm going to continue doing this? Or is it even worth it, fam? Like, I went out of my way to do this, and it's like, fuck. Yeah, it's one of those situations, like, fuck. Who knows what he could feel at this situation, but a lot of people would probably back away from it, too. You know? So, like, I'm not even going to do this extra shit. Because mm-hmm. a lot of the guys who they look up to is not doing this extra shit. They're not putting out no programs out there. They're not doing a lot of charities out there, right? For the city, for the city, exactly. For the hood, why? So it's like, why am I doing this from the underground up to try to give you guys attention and things? And then after, I'm putting myself in these type of situations. So fuck, man. You could probably be thinking that right now, bro. I mean, like, fuck. Shout out, keep six. Like, keep your head up, heal up. I mean, he's alive though. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's good. Well, he's good. good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, keep six on your head. Havaya, I don't want no smoke, man. You see, you, you, <laughs> Havaya and keep six, you know what I'm saying? And allegedly, you know, that's what the streets are saying. Havaya, they don't want no smoke with you, Havaya. You know what I'm saying? Havaya mighty, just chill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just chill, Havaya. <laughs> but, um, what else, what else, what's got going on other than Six Talk Podcast, man? I know you, are, are you yeah, gonna just really, really like, like I'm on the Six Talk Podcast, the label, everything's just everybody going easy. I'm on the podcast world, just entertaining the people. You know what I mean, like, I brought my second baby mama on my podcast. She has her whole fan base doing her own thing too, so I just combined both of them. So, you got that sick chemistry that we've been having that for years. So, you might as well, like, I'll be like blue face. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not like blue face. I just um, put my baby mama's on and we win. Oh <laughs> no. Uh, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so uh, I can't win my baby mama's. Uh, no, I'm not saying all that. It's just like blue face is just not the one to. No, I'm, I'm not saying. saying I'm, I'm just saying. saying the man the man, because I will come for the dog that will come to me compared to me, like, fuck it. Only Blueface is doing this and he's putting his missiles on the map. I'm not saying, like, I'm going into he's doing it to be spiteful. No, but he's doing it like it's a fuck up. He's doing it to be spiteful. Like, he's not. I ain't going to be spiteful. All down to the the, the record label name, MILF Music. I said, That's the name of the record label? No, it's MILF Music for real? Okay. So hold on, hold on. That's his label? It's called MILF? I'm making no. my own like milk music. Da, 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 da. Yeah. No, I don't fuck with that. I only yeah. I only pay attention to the bullshit, but I don't I don't fuck with it. I don't know about it. I've been seeing shit and it's just like milk music, like he for real. Like even all down to like, no, he's really petty. Like you had all them pregnant girls in, in, in your music video just shaking asses, yeah. yeah. busting it open and shit. Blue face <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I would not I don't, if you do something. Use like Beyonce and Jay Z, like when they have their tour together. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's yeah. a power. That's a power. Yeah, some power. That's some power shit. behind that. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. Blueface, throw him away, please. Yeah. <laughs> throw him away. He's only back with her because the next one's out of service. Watch when she drops yeah, her baby, yeah. and she back in service. I guarantee yeah, yeah, you, you know, turn up for that one. Yeah. Don't Stop all that. Okay, let's be serious. He okay. loves her. Okay, before we get out of here with Watts, I got a few more things that I just want to run by everybody really quick. This is one that, yeah, I guess this would be good to have Watts to ask. How come when it's two men and a woman, it's considered a train and not a threesome? Ooh, okay. It's like, y'all both be fucking female. Like, are you really, 
Like, are, are two people fucking debating at the same time? Sometimes or not, like depending on the threesome. Because okay. if you have, you, some guys have relationships with girls where it's just like, you can't touch the other girl, but like, you can fuck me and whatever. Yeah. I can do stuff with the girl. Yeah. So like, when, so, you, when there's two guys, both of you guys are going to fuck her. So that's but considered yeah, a trick. So because, because, her. so, okay. So pause on this. So if two guys are engaging with each other and the girl, then it's considered how a threesome? How likely, how likely, how likely. I'm just saying, I'm pause on it. But I'm just saying, if that happens, that's considered a threesome. If, 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 if the man is going to engage with the girl, thank you. It's oh, yeah. not happening. Because let me tell you something. I don't care if it's too random. I don't care if that's my man's nice man. I don't care how much. Of it could be Chris Brown for all I can. <laughs> into the mic, into the mic. Anyhow, I walk into our room. I see, uh, no, that's not that's not it for me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all can have each other. I'm out. <laughs> that, oh. uh, no. Yeah, that's what you got to. No. Watch you never ran, ran batteries back in the day? Yeah, I probably had like two Two-match batteries, but I was always first. <laughs> I wasn't one of those guys that was going to wait like second, third, or fourth mm-hmm. down the line. Just, like, I was second. I'm not gonna lie. Most like, of them, I was second. I was like probably like, I'm like, 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 like 15, 16 those times. Like, I never did that. Like, 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 like I'm I have, I have my personal shock. He's like, yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. Like, this is mine. Like, this is locked. Like, I'm gonna make you see this one and you're jealous. This is mine. Now I used to share my bitches, cause you know what I'm saying. I was, I, to me, it was just like I. Like I, I listen to rap, my bro, my older bros are dirt bags and shit like that. So it was just like, yeah, yo, your we're just, your Percy's. yeah, I had the girls that yeah, I yeah, personally Percy's. wanted. They were to me, yeah, but Percy. if you weren't Percy, then the man I'm sharing yeah, with the man. Of course, the can go and deal with that if you weren't a Percy. But if if a man came true, like there's times where the man came true, I'm like, yo, I just dealt with the thing. You want to go in there and, and I would look at the thing. Sure, why not? Yeah. Thoughts. Well, yeah. but what if you're like the third, fourth kid in there? Third, fourth, I don't know. Like, okay, oh. there was one time where it was like one guy had to get it started, and then like two of the man them came through, which was me and the next man came through after, mm. and then like all three of us were upon the team. So what, you were putting one in a box and the next man is getting head from the front? Yeah, and then the next man is jerking, and the next man getting a jerk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, she took it. So there's like a three dogs in the one room. Yeah, yeah, technically, yeah excited. technically I wasn't excited. It wasn't my first time that something like that yeah. happened too. There was times where like me and my bros and my cousins were like, yeah, we're in the room dealing with things. Yeah. Those times when it's family, yeah, things okay, will get it in their ass too. Weird. I'm just, I'm just asking. You don't think it's weird that all y'all got your dicks out and shit? She just, <laughs> like, no. Man just you know what I'm saying? Right. Because I wasn't looking at the man. I'm like, yo, is, is a man's okay, piece so bigger I'm than mine? Like, yeah, I'm no. saying like, yeah. I'm comfortable with my shit. Like, I'm like, like, jealous of like which which, which mm. position y'all in. Like, whoever got the hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I wanted the mouth. Like, there's only one time. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Pot. It was with my bro. Like, my bro was killing the thing, fam, and it was just like, yo. Holy, like, relax, bro. <laughs> like, I'm getting the head, and the man's like, he's digging it, and it's like, the thing's like, nah, 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 nah. I, I, I'm just like, yo, bro. Like, and I'm just like, yo, bro, can you chill a little bit? I want the thing to give me some brain. I was like, yeah. that was the one time I was just like, I was kind of like, holy, fam. Like, <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I was just like, yeah. I, I don't, I didn't. I don't do that in my old age. I'm not, I don't know big man thing, like, I'm some bad yeah. shit thing, like, come on. Right now, with me, I can't, I can't see myself in a room with another man. So when was the last thing. time you did it? Like, five years? Five years? Mm, way more than that. Yeah, like, I want to say 10. Like, maybe in my 20s. Yeah, early 20s. Mm, maybe late 20s. Bashi, <laughs> <laughs> like, 16, like. 15, 16. I always had beer, but I had beer girl, so I just had beer person. Yeah, yeah, I had beer girl. Yeah, like I but I had beer girl to share too. Yeah, that was a thing. Like, like, you know, like, like oh, so y'all just, like, you guys just took turns playing who's the cheese platter. I guess. No, but if that's my Percy or my my friends are not allowed to have her. Yeah. Oh per- yeah, I I caught that. Yeah. I'm just saying, he said he had bitches to share, so like you guys just took t- turns sharing bitches. If the man and were in, yo, if I had a gal in there and she was about it, yeah. and the man and wanted to, so like, why yeah, am I gonna prevent the man yeah. from buffing their nut? Like yeah. that to me, so that's like, selfish. how do you how do you break the ice with that? Cause I'm like, I'm curious how do you break, cause how do you break the ice with do that? Do you like, want to fuck my brethren? 
Oh, you just straight out. Okay. How else am I supposed to say it? And this time, I'm not gonna lie well, because I'm just that raw like that. listen, I'm a real nigga on here because most okay, niggas will be like, no, 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 no. First off, most niggas are gonna be like, oh yeah, everything I pined, I've killed. There's times where I don't really kill the things properly. You know what I'm saying? There's times you give a quick cause. You're just not into it, or you know what I'm saying? You see her in, on, on camera and then she comes in person and she, uh, so you just get your nut off. And then it's just like, yo, so my homie wants to fuck. Yes or no? Stop with it. What do you want me to do? How you want me? Like, well, there's I no other way to I'm do asking, it I'm unless asking. I let my branch and just leave you. You ask like your homie want to fuck me. I might be a little bit nicer, but still come on the same type of terminology. <laughs> just be like a so you bit. see, like you butter them up, you like drop some game, and then no, like I, mean, I won't do the game for stolen, but I'll just yeah. be like, I'll be a little bit more sweeter with like that's gonna just be wrong. Like you wanna fuck my homie or not? Like, <laughs> I'll be like, so I'll go and say, listen, I'm gonna put this on you. All right, I'm like in a forward right now to the so like, yeah. I'm just gonna drop it neat on yeah. it. I'm not gonna be a little bit aggressive yeah. like how that she's gonna be. Okay. Nah, I was aggressive. I'm taking it a different way. Yeah, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I like I'm gonna see it's enough nice, a little like, bit. You know, he's forward and whatever, I'm gonna, so things you know, like, I, cool. Mm. My homie looks better than me. You want to smash? I'm that's my. I just always tell bitches I'm ugly, bro. So you want my homie looks better than me. You want you want to smash? That's crazy. You said that. I'm the ugly you know one out of the group. You should see my friends. Yeah, my friend. Yeah, I'm saying you can put it on. Yeah, he loves me, man. Um, another one I I had there. Enhancements. You ever use the blue pillars? And could you, if you know a guy was using any enhancements, would you let him like still smash you? I don't give a fuck, you know. Penis pump, blue pill. Penis pump, what? Yeah, I'm wondering. It's crazy what out here, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, what is Hold on, hold on. Chicken, chicken chicken wings and let like me let me take oh, some. Oh, the honey, the honey us. Yeah. Yeah, no. you, you never had the honey. No. Shout out, shout out, Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Gucci gave me the honey. Honey pop or like liquor, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, no that. man, you just. Or you could just take it straight. Don't. I think it's disgusting. I've tried it, but like I feel like it's all in your head because it didn't. Yeah. It didn't do nothing for me. Maybe I'm not. It means up to me that yo, fam. I yeah. swear. No, I, I swear she got two rounds. Oh, <laughs> even if I'm just getting a little juice and I'm getting beat, like I'm not gonna need these type of stuff in order for me to stay high. Well, hold on. The pump. What? What is that? A pump? Why do you need these things? You know what? If I don't see it, I, I don't believe it. How about that? If I don't see it, I don't. So what if you walk? What if you walked in on a nigga and he's he passed the pump here and he's pumping like, up like his thing? What is that? Um, it, it gets your. It kind of gets your thing bigger and stronger. Continue with you, sir. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not vibes in the girl, you're not going to get honey for the girl like that. If but some girl, if I'm vibes in and I'm seeing this one and I'm just getting honey, but that's if you're sitting there taking it. There's so many young boys that be sitting there taking these pills and leaves and all this stuff and they can't even get up for the girl. Like exactly. And and then you have to rem remember too, what? A lot of niggas in general do not get pump pump fam. No, a lot of niggas don't Let get a pump. lot of no, niggas like don't, don't. They, don't get they do not. So then... They don't know how to f like complete. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you can get a girl to like, you can get her there. She wants to smash, but you don't know how to get it to that point. You know what I'm saying? Just or to get like, your get, yeah. Get to what point? To the fucking point. You know, Kalani, stop this. How many <laughs> times have you gone to? Uh, I don't know. I okay. I don't know you like that. I shouldn't okay. say that. Okay. But like niggas will come and like they don't get it. You know what I'm saying? You'll be like, so you'll cock up your leg on them. You'll do something. They won't get the hit. They'll be like, no, I don't usually hint. I just go for the kill. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're, you're different the then. Real shit. Like oh, if I'm see, about I, it, I'm I, about I, it. I go for the fucking yeah, kill. See, oh, that's, sick, right? yeah, You see, with me now, that's I how. Mean, if a girl doesn't try and make a move no, on me, I won't even try and fuck. No, because will, then I'll these girls are crazy. No, real shit. I'll wait. I'll wait for you to lead. And if you're not. No, but I'll, I'll try to play with the neck I'll, 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 I'll do a little I'll do a little warners and if I don't get no playback, it's a wrap for me. I'll burn my I'm, thing, I'm gonna wash from you. And that's the thing, I'll react or whatever. But I am not okay, so it depends like it all de for me it all depends on where I'm at if I wanna show PDA or not. You know what I'm saying? So like for me, like if you're not gonna lead and be like, Oh, let's go walk to the car or whatever, do da da no, I'm, I'm gonna be like, Okay, it's time to go. I'll send you a text or whatever and like get yeah, this going. I'm ready. Mm. Ah. That shows that you just run that you're the alpha female the race like yeah. me. I don't play that shit. Like I'm gonna lead in different aspects of that. Like even if you feel like you're gonna lead, I'm gonna show you like I'm gonna lead in this aspect like that. 
And I'm gonna get you giddy. As much as you think you're gonna get giddy, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you giddy. Mm. Fuck that shit. <laughs> just just saying. I'm gonna have fun. You know, if it's there, if the itch is there, the itch needs to be itched. Yeah, you gotta make sure you take care of your hair. Bro, I didn't do my hair, do my makeup, my nails, didn't get whacked. Like, I did a lot. Bender over. I want it itched, okay? I'll save that for after. How involved are you guys with your kids with dating? Or how involved do you think you guys are? Because I think you're, both of your kids are not old enough to date yet. Um, but. Honestly, I know. I'm, I know. Like, I'll you're be a very, mom, so yeah. I'll I'm be a... very involved. And my girls tell me everything up until now. Like, my daughter, she's had a little boyfriend or whatever at school. She told me off rip. So, like, I know. I'm cool. I'll probably be there to tell them, like, mm, you stupid. So, but, like, I'm not going to be, like, does right it, up in there. Does, it, does race or anything matter? Cause I know my sister's racist as shit. I know my my sister. Yo, she's always say, "Yo, this kid better not bring home no white girl." Race. Yeah, race. Yeah, my my sister doesn't really matter because doesn't her, really. No, her. Okay, listen to me. Her father is half black, right? So she has white people in her family, and she went for black. So I'm 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 cool with it. But if she does choose outside of her race, I'm okay with it. What if she's Indian? And he wants to have like b- multiple wives or, or girlfriends no. and shit. No, <laughs> one thing I'm gonna tell you, Kay, my my daughter is not an option. Okay, she's the one, the one. She doesn't compete, she completes. You feel me? Oh, That's shit. not going. Talk That's not mommy. going. Multiple. Wives. Talk to <laughs> mommy. Not going. So are my you gonna be? Queen, so what? you're gonna be like when she's ready to have like her first date? Are you gonna be there? Um, like, are you going to drive her to the date? And... It, all do, like, it all depends on how old she is. But, like, yeah, I'll be invested. Like, I want I want to help do her hair. I want to help do her makeup. Pick out an outfit. Like, I'll be I'll be in that 100%. Everything she does, I'm always in that. And, like, we're, like, best friends. So, like, she comes to me anyways. Like, if she's her um concert thing that she had, she came to me. She's like, yo, mom, okay, this is my outfit. This is my shoes. <laughs> da, da, da. What do you think? You think I can move around like this? So, like, I know 100% I'm going to be in that. But I'm not going to be, like... Okay, I gotta wait a couple minutes, go inside, oh, see the guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still give mm-hmm. her space. space? Like, what about you, what? Not me and my mom and daughter. I don't give a fuck. My it's son, I allow my son to do certain things. things. See, my daughters, I'm on them, because I know all these little young boys think, and it's a new generation right now. These young boys are honey. They have nothing to do, they're bored. They don't even go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> just in their phones. Yeah, this is in their yeah. phones. Look at what they do. Like, Nothing of these young, young boys don't even get pum pum. They run outside, see the gal them at the park, swerving the gal them, mm. waiting for lights to turn out, and uh, mm. they're not doing that. So they're bored inside home. So what are they gonna do? They're ge- hey, I'm I'm on my kids' phone, especially my daughters. Ten times more, I'm gonna be on my. Okay, but what my if they? What if they came correctly? What if they came correctly? It's not even about come correct. Like, no. okay, sorry, finish. But eventually, at the end of the day, eventually, my daughter's gonna have to have a boyfriend. It's not like God never made that in the Bible. Like, I'm gonna look to my daughter not to have a man. I don't want her to have a woman. I'd rather her still come home with a proper, respectable man. Mm. Because it's, that's the reality of life. You see what I'm saying? But how so, involved, like, going back to the question. As, like, yeah, your, your daughter as, tells you now she's going on her first date. Are you driving her to the date, fam? Me? Okay. As if I, if I, when I drive my daughter to that thing, to me, I think, oh my, I'll be outside, I'll be in the parking lot lurking the whole time, I'll be waiting. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, outside. You know, you're going to your day? Mm. All right, then, watch who's this, this young boy. I'm going to meet him first. You introduce him. You, all you go inside and go sit at the table and go use the bathroom or something like that. My youth, I'm going to give you a quick talk first. All right, she's going to make sure she's home at this time, and I'm going to be there the whole time in the parking lot. You're going to bring all the dogs there? No, I'm going to bring all the dogs. <laughs> like that, with I'm the 50 cent movie. I'm <laughs> set for it myself. I'm just going to go on free and wash you up. Like, if you're a respectable young boy, and you know all the answer, you did it, you're a good youth, you're there on the streets, I give you trouble, I tell you that, like, all right, cool, but at the end of the day, like, you're not going to take my daughter for no eat. But, but that's, that's why God, God gives the man them that's the jealous daughters first. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to you about that. Mm-hmm. So I'm scared. Because if you're jealous, I'm scared. You're not, because all the shit you used to do to girls, yep. when you get your it's a full girl circle. pick me, full circle. you don't want that shit happen to your girl. So you got to be outside. That's why the reason why I'm honoring that, because I know what I was doing. Mm. 
Yeah. But then again, it's for you. It's for you to also show your daughters the proper treatment. Right? Yeah, you gotta sure. show them stars. Spoil them with the flag, them compliment them. You should take them out. You know, take like them out. Do it. I spoil my daughters. My daughters love me up. They spoil them, so they love me up. They know what time is when it comes to daddy. So that's why I'll be honest. So if they have a man in their life, you're supposed to treat them the same way. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, like, are you dumb? You know what my dad used to do for me? Mm. Right? You can't come treat me like that. I'll I've been on more vacations than your whole life. So I'm not in tech chair. I mean, my move up. And that's just what it is. As long as they treat my dad like a queen, like, fuck. Reality of it, like, as much as I don't want it, I don't want my dad to have a boyfriend. I'll say, you never have a boyfriend your whole life. Harvey dad wants to say that. I'll be cool with that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is the reality of it. I'd be fine. It. It's like, like fuck, like, like shit. They're gonna eventually, you know? Get to that point. Yeah, they're gonna get to that point one day. Like, that's all. Your like daughters have never had a boyfriend? My first daughter, she's 12. I don't know if she's not. I don't know if she's not. None of my daughters. I'm almost five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're good. So I was about to say, like, by the time no. I but even with your son, even with your son, you don't think like you would want to know the kind of girl he's talking no, to. No, but he has a little shot. He has school. As oh, we go, my youngest daughter shows me she goes daddy. She, she has a girlfriend. But school. have you seen her? No, I didn't see. But, her, but that's asked his mom. So I'm like, hey, did you see the little shot? He that's at the school, and she's like, what do you mean? She's like a pretty one. I was like, okay, him I'm going with him. And I know his mom's not gonna be here. She will come next. Me. So, so obviously, obviously as a little, and he said her name. I don't remember the little girl's obviously, but it's like he, the, her name was all said. Like, okay, I'm going with yeah. Ting. <laughs> <laughs> so, but him, I'm different with him. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm on it. Like, he likes that shit too because he gets giddy. So like, I right, cool. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm like, making up for that school. Like my daughter is I'm on them. You know me. You still, you still want to know still yeah. because, like, are, are they tricking on the girl? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, pops, can yeah, I get, I like, $10, $20? Sure. What do you need it for? Yeah, I got to make sure. So I, 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 I wanted to buy it. something for this girl. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Right. You know, you just got to ask him. He's 10 now. So I got to ask him these questions. I ask him, and you got to laugh about it. But he's just a little, he's a sweet boy. He's a mama's boy. Mm. See, my dad is a daddy's boy. Yeah. Oh, my son, he's a mama's boy. He's a sweet boy. He's a mama's 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 boy. Shout out Vegas, shout out the whole team. I'm fucking. (laughs) (laughs) So, yo, really quick, give give your shout outs, um, you know, and where people can get a hold of you, all that stuff. Podcast, shout out the whole team, shout out Chung Lee, Hundred Vision ZNT, the whole label. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, the real hundred watts. Make sure y'all check out Gutsy and Kalani. Everybody in the city, salute to all y'all. It's all love and positivity. We're trying to make this shit work. You know, time with it. You need to get back on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be more active on it. I'm going to be more active on it. Yeah. Everything else, TikTok, I'm on TikTok, the gram. Yes. That's what's up. Figuring out. So Twitter, I'm going to start getting more active on it. And but yeah, you're in, the right, you're in the right spaces. You're in trying, TikTok. I'm working. I told you last time I'm going to get the podcast. I've been trying. Because now I let the artists just show because I gave them like three years of my life. Yeah. I can give you guys three years of my life. Pretty much, I, I got more headache being a CEO than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> I swear to God. Because as an artist, I never did, because I didn't have to get at myself, okay, go yeah. promote yourself. You already know go what to do. Go post up your video. Go shoot a video. Go take a fucking photo shoot. Go do that. For artists, you got to be this. Mark yourself. And you're putting up your money for them. It's not even like your. Yeah. I feel the same. God, I've been more stressed out doing all that stuff. I lost so much weight. They just stressed me out. That's why I, was, I started putting on weight to be happy. I was cheap. I was cheap hey. when you guys were just like, yo, but hey. but he's not a boss and this is not a third. I was like, okay, I'm gonna boss up and then I'm just like, fuck, this is a lot of work. I'm like, holy fuck, bro, this is a lot of work. You guys do not understand how hard it is to run a fucking network, bro. Yeah. What time is gotta bet on yourself and See your vision and go for it because especially if people are not going as hard for you as you would go as hard for them. Mm. 
Yeah. That's that's why I started the man them show. That's why I started the man show. And look at you like you're the bad guy, but I went more harder for you than you even went harder for yourself. Mm. The fuck you talking about? I mean, the numbers and everything is there. Yeah, I'm saying people don't. That's how it people is. can say whatever they want, but they know, you know, three years ago what I was doing when yeah, I was yeah. somewhere else. You know, they they could hate and deny it all they want, but exactly, you know. But- that's how it comes Just down give me, to it, Like so. I said, give me a couple of years. They'll see. Pff, they'll see. They, hey, the shit looks fly. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit looks fly. Fuck. You know what I'm, saying, so. <laughs> I'm just you trying to it. take. Yeah. You work it. But yeah, shout out Watts, man. Six yeah. Top Podcast out yeah. now yeah. on all your streaming audio platforms. You can also yeah. watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Watts, thank you. You already know your yeah. family. Yeah. Anytime yeah. you want to come true. Family. Yeah. No. You know how time it is, yeah. you got you. 100. She ain't got no makeup on. She looking so pretty with the baby hairs. The hair is <laughs> fucking wrong with you. Thank you. I like that you got a female host now, Gussie. Thank you. Yeah. Show that you got game. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. It was the man them show. Gutsy, Kalani, what? Time. Yeah, we are. <laughs> time. Right, time. And we're off for this. Boo!